I want to talk about the South China Sea. Mm. You have said that you want to resume talks on oil exploration mm. in the South China Sea with China. Mm -hmm. How do you think you can break that stalemate? Oh, it's uh, <laughs> it, that's a difficult that's a difficult thing to have to do because the the impasse really has occurred uh, in the application of law, and both sides are, are say that this area. Uh, belongs, we say, it's just a maritime uh, territory of the Philippines. And of course, China claims the same. And therefore, the application of law is the local law, is the uh, Chinese side uh, insists that it has to be the Chinese law, the Philippine side the same. Uh, we may find a way around that if we limit it uh, to exploration and uh, hopefully. Uh, I, I think there's still some give and take. Well, what are the there. red lines for the Philippines, and what are the areas you're willing to concede? Well, it, it, we cannot concede. We cannot concede any of the territorial claims that are being made against our established territory. Uh, so that is the red line. That is something that it, that, that that will not move, uh, and it's something that we cannot cross because it's a very slippery road from there. Mm -hmm. Uh, there are reports suggesting that China's militias uh, swarming and yeah. perhaps uh, looking to seize uh, some of the land features. Mm. Uh, what are you doing about that? And is there any intention of lodging a diplomatic uh, protest? Well, we, we send note verbals and we bring the attention. And that's why when I met with President Xi, uh, both in APEC and um, and the state visit that I just, I just had to, to the People's Republic, I said we have to find a system so that these sort of things do not happen. Because uh, if you look at the, we'll call them incidents that have been, that have been going on in the past few weeks, months, uh, it really is a very clear indication that there's very poor communication between the two sides. And I, I suggested, and I think we're going to establish it, is that we'll have a, uh, line of communication that is higher up uh, so that those we forget we, we have already a bilateral group that's working on the issues on the South China Sea West Philippine Sea and uh, but I think I asked to raise I think that it should be raised to a certain level so that the members of that bilateral group can directly call their president and so if there is a problem if there is a decision that needs to be made my team can call me directly and the same for the Chinese side. Just very quickly, President Marcus, I'm just wondering if China does seize some of those features, will the U.S. come to your rescue? Will it intervene? Just very quickly. Well, yes, they have already made that commitment. They have already made that commitment. And uh, as a matter of fact, when, uh, when there are certain reports that come in, uh, some of the American ships come down uh, and make their presence felt. So uh, it's just, uh, uh, we, we, we were hoping just keep and maintain it in that, uh, at that level. And uh, the, uh, we, of course, all of us uh, that are stakeholders, ASEAN, Asia-Pacific countries, uh, all just want peace because we really have a great deal of work to do in recovering our economies.